Well, high pressure kept us nice and clear throughout the day. A few clouds are starting to push their way in just off to our west. You can see some heavy rainfall back towards Minnesota, and that will slowly but surely start to sneak its way in here. We've already seen some of the areas of moisture, some of the clouds, and maybe a few little spots here of rain showing up on the radar, but not going to be seeing much of that throughout the night. Better chances will start to come in as we head into tomorrow. But for tonight, expect things to be a lot warmer than what they were last night. 75 degrees for a current temperature, mostly clear winds. They aren't even out there. They are currently calm. And as we take a look at our current temperatures, 75 degrees for us in Marquette and on off to the west. Temperatures still around those 70s at 78 in Crystal Falls, 72 in Ironwood while sitting more in the upper 60s in Launce and also in Houghton. And for us to the east, 64 degrees for our temperature in Munising, lower 70s down in Escanaba. And for us in Ishpeming, we are at 75 degrees. We have been seeing more of a um, south southerly flow with our wind, so that's why we are at 9 miles per hour in Iron Mountain, 6 for us in Ironwood, and 8 into Houghton. And let's just look at temperatures across the rest of the state. More of the 70s farther south, not quite seeing those 80s. Or the, well, they saw the 60s yesterday a little farther south with all the rain. But we had some 80s up here as you go into central Michigan. But temperatures are a little cooler behind that disturbance that did make its way through the area and brought a little cooler air into the region, which we saw more of the 40s last night for our overnight temperatures. But much more mild tonight. Lows only going to be falling down into the upper 40s and the lower 50s. Rain chances pick up by tomorrow, especially as we head later on into the day by tomorrow evening. And more storms are on the way as we head into the weekend as chances will become even greater as the next system on the way. It will heat us up before the cold front does arrive, but after the cold front moves through, expect things to cool back off for us as we head into Sunday and for Monday. But right in front of it, we're seeing all the broad area of thunderstorms back through Minnesota and back through South, South Dakota. For us, we were very nice today. High pressure did keep us clear, but by tomorrow, we'll see those rain showers start to push their way back in. As we go ahead and take a look at Futurecast, you can see how that disturbance has brought in the warmer air with the warm front moving to our north. By later on tomorrow, we'll have very scattered showers and thunderstorms, but then things start to pick back up for us as we get closer to Saturday. Greater chances of rain showers and thunderstorms will pass through on the day on that day, but then after this disturbance does push off to the east, we'll clear out yet again going into late Sunday and then finding, finally seeing mostly sunny skies again by Monday. But for us tonight, we'll be at 49 degrees. Clouds will continue to increase south winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour, seeing more of that southwesterly flow between 5 to 15 miles per hour tomorrow, and the thunderstorms will be in the forecast. South 78 for a high in Crystal Falls, while at 72 in Launce. For us in Marquette, we'll be at 73 and 74 in Munising. Our seven-day forecast, here come the 60s by the time we make our way into Saturday as that disturbance does start to push closer with the associated cold front. And that will push our temperatures all the way back down into the lower 60s by Sunday with a very slight chance of an early shower on Sunday. Not expecting thunderstorms on that day, but then we'll clear out yet again as we start off our next work week.